everybody, it's me, Angela Walters, your favorite midnight quilter from Quilting Is My Therapy. And in this episode, we're gonna put a twist on a classic quilt. Are you ready to Bargello? Plus, be sure to hang around to the end of the video because I'll tell you how you could win your own Bargello quilt kit. So, let's get to it. There are so many things to love about Bargello quilts. I'm kind of tempted to write a song. But I won't, I won't. For starters, they are much easier than they might appear at first. Typically, they're made up of little squares that give the quilt a look of movement. But we're not cutting out a bunch of little squares. We're gonna cut out some strip sets and then do some creative piecing and unpiecing to make that come to life. There's so many different ways you can lay out a Bargello quilt, but for this pattern, I've kept it nice and easy. So it's kind of like baby steps into Bargello. For the quilt itself, I put together this quilt kit of some of the fabrics from my Crystals fabric collection. They're a little bit geometric, a little bit ombre and a whole lot of rainbow awesomeness. So these colors are gonna give it just a beautiful rainbow look. And then I've picked out a lovely accent color just to give the quilt some continuity. Well, I can't stay here and just play with the fabric all day. Let's get to cutting. Even though it may look like there's curves in this quilt, there isn't. It's all made through the magic of strip sets. So I'm gonna take each of my rainbow fabric and cut them into strips. And even though typically Bargello quilts are made with two and a half inch strips, I'm gonna cut these a little bit wider so I have less piecing, which means a quicker finished quilt. This quilt is so deceptively easy to put together, it's the perfect gift if you wanna lay down a guilt trip. You can give them the quilt and be like, oh, this took forever, but I really love you, it's fine. Hey, I'm never above a quilt guilt trip. Once I have all those gorgeous strips cut out, it's time to cut out the accent fabric. Still more strips, just a little bit skinnier. Now that I have all the strips cut out, let's see how the Bargello comes together. The first step to our Bargello is to lay out the strips in a particular order. In the pattern, I show you how you can lay them out in color order, but of course, you can come up with your own twist. The main thing to remember is I wanna lay out a couple of colorful strips and then a strip of the accent fabric and then repeating until I have all the fabrics laid out. Once I have it to that point, all I have to do is sew these together with nice long seams and I'll have my first strip unit. So I have my first strip unit all sewed together and let's take a minute and talk about this. So one thing I did to make it a little bit easier and a little bit more manageable for myself is I cut those long strips in half. It's not gonna affect the pattern at all. It just makes the piecing go a little bit quicker. Another thing, I know y'all are gonna be super impressed. You're gonna press all those seams to one side. And if you wanna get super granular about it, you can press one half to one side and you can do the opposite on the other if you want. Just make sure those seams are pressed. That's the most important thing. But all I have left to do now is add one more seam. And this is where it gets kind of different with the Bargello. I'm gonna take that whole strip unit and fold it right sides together. I'm gonna align up those shorter edges and we're gonna sew a seam right here to make it like a strip tube. And then we're gonna see what it looks like when we start cutting it apart. So let me do that real quick and we'll get to the cutting. Now that I have my strip tube made, I have my piece of fabric right here. Well, now I'm gonna take the strip unit and I'm gonna start cutting it into smaller widths. So I'm gonna take a moment real quick and I'm gonna find my fabric one or what I determine will be the top and I'm gonna put it at the top. Here's my fabric one, it's that blue, perfect. And I'm just gonna cut this in strips just like it was any old strip unit, just gonna be two layers, just gonna be a tube. And I'm gonna cut it in strips of different widths and that's what's gonna give us that cool movement effect when we're finished. So some skinny strips, some not so skinny strips. Once I finish cutting up that strip tube, I'm gonna do the other half, same widths to make my strips, and then we'll do some creative unsewing to see how it comes together. Now that I have that first one all cut into my strips of different widths, it's time to unpick the seams in between certain fabrics to see that different color placement come out. Now this is where I think this pattern is so genius. And I might be biased because I wrote the pattern, but the idea is that unlike other Bargello patterns, each width of strip is unsewn at the same spot. So really great for me if I'm you know, prone to making mistakes. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these to the side. And let's start with our thinnest one. I'm gonna pull out the seam in between fabric one 
and fabric 12 on that other side. And this is where we're gonna see something very unique. I'm actually holding a seam ripper. Usually we're not the best of friends because if I have a seam ripper, it means the quilting is not turned out great and it is a bad day at the Walters household. But this time it's actually gonna be a tool to help me make my quilt top. So I'm sorry for all the mean things I've ever said about you. But using that seam ripper, I'm just gonna carefully unpick that seam in between those fabrics. And when I open it up, look at that beautiful color placement. So nice. Now if I go to the next width strip, instead of pulling out the seam between fabrics one and 12, I'm gonna pull out the seam in between fabrics one and two, which does sound a little confusing, but once you get the hang of it, it's real easy because all of those strips are the same. So just real easy and quick, and then open it up. All right, on the next widest strip, I'm gonna pull out the seam in between fabrics two and three. Nice little opening. And then on the last width strip, or the widest strip, again, always keeping that same fabric at the top. That's gonna help keep me on track where I'm going. I'm gonna rip out the seam right here. Again, that's what makes this so easy. Once you get the hang of it, you can get one with the strips or one pile of strips and start taking out that seam. It's really nice and easy. And these four strips are actually gonna make up one quadrant of one of the columns. But you can almost start to see that fabric placement come out to play. So what I'm gonna do is take out the seams on the other four strips and then we'll actually sew these together and see what part of it's gonna look like. And look how pretty that looks. And even though we have a lot of different color movement, it was so easy because each one was ripped out at the same spot. Another bonus to this Bargello pattern is only a few of the seams actually match up. So it doesn't have to be too stressful when it comes to assembling them. Well, now that I have that first portion of my quilt ready, let's start sewing them together and see what it looks like when it's all put together. All right, so I'm all prepped. I got my strips laid out. I just wanna take a second and be kind of grateful for a better relationship that I have with my seam ripper. I mean, it's been rough throughout the years, but to finally, I don't know, come to a good place where we can love and accept each other. And I don't know, this one's pretty amazing. It's two different sizes on each side. And if it's pretty traumatic, like if there's a lot of seam ripping, I could actually use these little sides to kind of clean up any little threads. So I think I like you. I probably will not throw that in the trash. I'll keep that one around. <laughs> but once we have our strips laid out, we're ready to go. I'm just gonna start sewing together in groups of two and then sew those groups together. And like I said, we'll have half of our first column of our quilt. Now that I got those strips sewed together in groups of two, I'm just gonna sew these groups together and we'll see what it looks like when it's finished. And there is the first portion of my Bargello quilt. You can start to see that fabric moving, it looks so great. But this quilt is actually pieced in columns and this is only half of one column. So I've made the same one again and it's gonna line just like this. And then since we're gonna have multiple columns, we're gonna put some sashing in between using a strip of that accent fabric just to help kind of separate those columns. And just a quick note, if you get this far into it and you're like, eh, Bargellos aren't for me, you could actually just sew this together and have a nice table runner or a bed runner. But I don't know, I'm all about rainbow. I'm all about going big. So I'm gonna sew these together and we'll see what the quilt looks like when we put it all together. So there it is, all pieced together. And here's the awesome thing. Everybody's gonna be looking at that beautiful color placement. Nobody's gonna see if my seams aren't perfect. But since this is done, all I have to do is repeat this three more times and I'll have my quilt top. Give me just a sec and I'll show you what that looks like. After a few quick seams, this Bargello quilt top is finished. And I hope you can tell just how fun and easy it was to put together. Well, now all I have to do is go ahead and quilt it, get it bound, and I can show you what the finished product looks like. And this Bargello quilt is finished. I just love the rainbow of colors, how it adds a bit of movement, and all those little bitty pieces that I didn't have to cut out makes it even better. And don't forget, if you wanna get your hands on your own Bargello quilt kit or get the pattern, all you have to do is scan the QR code in the corner or check out quiltingismytherapy.com. And one lucky quilter will have a Bargello quilt kit all their own. All you have to do to win is leave a comment letting me know what you think about the Bargello technique and I'll pick a random winner next week. Good luck, everybody. And I'll be back soon with another episode of The Midnight Quilter. Until then, everyone, happy Bargello quilting.